I guess this is a wee, is, should we go on to this today's topic? So, have you seen all these meals coming out? 25 grams protein meals. 20 gram protein meals. Is that that? No, I will. Is that it to begin with? But it's, it's labelling it as a protein source meal. Right. 600 calories. <laughs> Who's this for? Aldi. Aldi? So I was going to do a video Aldi? on Aldi? Aye, wee pancakes as well. Oh, seen mate. So they're they're one gram of protein per pancake. Is that what it is? 25 pancakes, is it? It's 25 pancakes, one, one gram per pancake. Right, so anyway, it's like 550 calories, 600 calories. And aye. Like, aye. Why is that labelled as a protein food? And, and I, the only reason I bought them the other day was because one of my clients said, oh, they protein pancakes are class. And they're rotten. And I was looking at them and I was they're like, rotten. I was like, 25 grams, cool, that looks good. And then I was like, calories. I was like, five, I can't be right. So then what I said, and I was like, cool, with it. as long as you're getting the calories in and the, the protein in, it's all that we care about just now. So bad. I went to Aldi the other day and I got them. I hit them up. Here's a wee strategy. Well, you shouldn't be buying them in the first place, right? They're but you want to buy them. They're fucking shite, innit? Put them up in the microwave, put a good bit of Himalayan salt in them, shake the bag up. Oh, mate. So good. Tr- no, trust. But then trust. you're just eating shite, mate. I know. That's, that's what I mean. You're you're just, yeah. anyway. But I, well got a burger grill, mate. So I had bought them to do a video on and I didn't have whatever meal I had with me and I was starving. I was like, I'll do that video. And I was like, nah, I'll actually film that video in the kitchen because it's it's going to be more engaging, whatever. I was like, fuck it, I'll just eat them. <laughs> I was like, sat and ate them and I was like, fucking, we have to buy these again. Bought them again. Had them up at the gym. And I was starving again. I was like, fuck, I'm just going to have them again. <laughs> so I need to buy them for the third time. Take them home. No, eat them. Record a video on them. Then eat them. <laughs> no, you're not eating them again. You're binning them. <laughs> well, to be fair, I like, it's just a wee boost of calories for my But it's just workouts. marketing lies, isn't but it? Yeah, yeah, so the marketing side of things to food is insane just now. Yeah. Especially towards protein foods. Yeah. Protein Weetabix. You could fill the bowl of cereal up with an extra 200 mill- milliliters of milk. Yeah. And you'll get more protein than that protein wheat bits compared to normal wheat bits. So and it's like fucking six quid dearer. <laughs> so there's a guy on TikTok, used to be an IFBB pro and he's like protein shakes not that uh, uh. what's the colored guy? Aye. Nah he's fucking What's his name again? Dunno he's fried. Aye he is fried. But do you know there's a slight part of me that agrees with him? Uh, same. But see when he starts talking about eggs not being a good food for you and all that I'm I've like, not seen that but <sighs> why'd you ruin it mate? <laughs> but it's like I I try not to get clients in that on these protein snacks too much mm. because they're no good food so there's no great food sources. I'll check take that good. Unless it's yogurt. They're no I but they're no great food sources a lot of the time. They're filled with and this is where I was got it's, it's, it's so fucking difficult. But for a general popular we were talking about genetics the other day and you were like obviously like saying so that's just that's just normal genetics. And I'm like, right, if that's normal genetics then these foods are going to make people see struggle to see progress. Do you know what I mean? Like, if if a, if a, if a normal person's genetics are not fantastic, they're going to really struggle to get in the shape that they want to get in, and then they're eating all these foods. In the bio lane, the other day, posted about seed oils. Did you see it? I've seen it. I've not seen this. So, either. he's saying seed oils don't, they're not really bad for human health, and they're only so bad because they're such dense in calories. And he says that was it. That's all the research shows. And I'm like, well... Why why do they make you feel so bad then? Because that when I know when you go to like the likes of five guys and you have all the chips, you don't feel great after it. Because your bank accounts fucking went down thirty quid but for it's a the chip pe- pe- they, they have peanut oil <laughs> and when you go to all these places where they use a lot of oil on the chips, you feel it straight hmm. away. And you're like, right, well, if the research says they don't affect you, but then you have them and you're like, I do not feel good. What what is it? Do you know what I mean? I, so I was watching his, I was like, I don't believe you, mate. So I so this is where it comes to our gut health. Yeah. We don't know yeah. the extent of what foods do to our gut. Mm-hmm. We know more about the brain in our uni- in the universe than what we do in our gut. And to me, that still blows my mind. It blows my mind. Because if we don't know how these foods affect us, how can we draw conclusions to, yeah, that's okay to do, that's okay to do. Mm-hmm. And let's be honest, food's getting worse. Yeah. Food quality's not gone up. Yeah. I would argue it's getting worse and worse and worse. There's more processed shit. Now the more, and it's great because we have a longer shelf life. We are stamping out the the amount of people who are truly starving and malnourished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at what cost? Mm-hmm. So obesity. Well, that's what I mean. What's what's the number one goal of these companies? Money. Just I just as hell. Aye. So if it comes down to profit, how do you squeeze your profit margins? If there's no, no, I'm not saying that there's not good ethics behind a brand, but you're squeezing costs on manufacturing right 
obviously shipping, branding, marketing, all that sort of stuff. But you're looking at the product and you're going, right, how do we get this more efficient? So look at McDonald's, for example. They're at the stage where mm, no matter where you go in the world, it's the same burger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the yeah. same. It's it the is. same. Like they've got it so engineered to that point. But then I think at what cost? Because then that, if they go, right, we used to have um, a frozen chicken select that could have the shelf life of 20 days. Can we get that to 32? How oh, would it be day? It doesn't matter what they've done to freeze it and do whatever. Or put it's a, just like, that it lasts 32 days. It lasts 32 days. So then how the fuck do we then measure that on the effect that it has in our gut and it has, in her, it has on our health? Yeah. So it makes sense how it's hard to draw conclusions to this nutrition will affect you in this way. Yeah. Because if I had to say to you, say you got a fucking terminal illness and went, it's because of day five, guys. Is it? Or is it because of the years that I spent drinking alcohol? Was it because of the vapes that I was smoking? You're never going to know. Was it because I was heavy squatting? You know what I mean? Like, aye, aye. Unlikely, but you know what I mean. I know, no, 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 no. But it is, you can't you can't rule anything out because you'll never know. And that, and that's the that that hurts my brain sometimes because I'm like, man, what do I communicate then? <laughs> aye, aye. But you have to go. This is why we have to be biased in a way, and we have to get our own experiences. <laughs>